Good morning. I'm Gene Brittnell with Just Dig It Farms. I'm out here this morning on my my hunting side of the property, um, trying to. I planted some uh, pine trees uh, two and a half years ago, and they are growing extremely fast. Um, I had a lot of pasture over here that uh, was just getting bush hogged and bush hogged and not really doing anything for us. So I planted some pines uh, so we could, you know, in the future have uh, a little bit of cash crop, uh, have it harvested. And also it provides bedding for wildlife, deer especially. I love to bow hunt. And it also uh, has pine straw so we can use around our gardens and and such. So it's kind of a twofold thing. So what I'm doing today, they're really getting thick. So pine trees grow when a lot of sunlight hits their branches and their trunk. So in order to crease the, uh, where it's not so thick so I can bush hog between them, keep it cleaned out and uh, not as snaky, I'm gonna go in and delim the sides. See, they're real thick. I planted them in rows. And by the way, I planted these I forgot how many seedlings. I planted all of these with a shovel. <laughs> so <clears throat> I kind of went to the chiropractor uh, after that. Anyway, I've got some uh, sawtooth, some different oaks. Uh, that one needs extreme water. We were in a major drought out here in Alabama right now. Um, got some honey locust, sawtooth, and then there's another one, and I didn't plant around that, so it'd have time to get big before the pines choke it out and then down here that's my dunstons and sawtooths but um, i've got the pipe around it because the deer keep rubbing their horns on these trees and scarring them up but as you can see all of these pines i've got i need to delim and i'm going to try to do that today and um so i can keep it bush hogged and cleaned out underneath them um and down here, as we go down here, you can see um, kind of what it looks like when I get done delimiting them. Um, basically, it just promotes more growth, like I said before, on the tree to where it grows up, just like it would on a vegetable or any other kind of tree. But that's basically what it looks like. And then again, here's one of my my good uh, sawtooths. It's, it's doing good coming on good last year I, um, well, actually it was this year I cleaned this out um, all of this growth was all the way out you can see here on the ground where it's all the limbs and trees and bushes was all out to here and like I gained a lot more of the property but you can see that's our other field in the meadow down there but as you can see it's just beautiful. There was a few turkey up there a minute ago when I walked up, big gobblers. But all the way out to about right here was just brush and limbs. And I cleaned it out. We gained this, and it's just beautiful. Look at this big old water oak here. Massive. The turkeys usually roost in this tree. And that limb you see right there, <laughs> it broke off the other day because <clears throat> I hit it with my tractor <laughs> and I pushed it down there in the woods so that's going to be a lot of deer bedding a lot of deer bedding animals love it hopefully the bees don't get in that little hole right there you see the little hole hope they don't make them a nest in there but the deer deer come through here all the time and they they there's little trails like here's a trail that goes down to the little creek down there <clears throat> And as you can see, there's a good uh, log I need to pick up and put in the hugel, hugel pit. That's great material for hugel culture. But, but anyway, it's just beautiful. I'm just out today working in the yard, out in the woods. Um, Tracy's uh, at work today at, at Petals from the past. And uh, she's up there getting it done. And I'm down here at the farm and I get to play. Well, <clears throat> this is my little bridge that I, I built um, just for my tractor and my four-wheeler kind of to go across to my to my hunting section. There's my planted pines. And over here is the bee yard and the orchard. 
And, uh, but I just made me a little bridge. I come across in the jean spot and, uh, but that's what I got to get done. And I've done uh, about four rows and I'm about dead. <laughs> but it's gonna look good. Some plant, some of the pines are a little shorter because they died the first round and I had to plant in the second year. But, but they're really doing good. Um, and I'm, once I get done, I'm gonna eventually come through and bush hog it and get it all cleaned up because I don't want a lot of briars growing all up in it. And this dirt pile over here is debris from where I cleaned out that wood line. And uh, I've got a lot of the good dirt out of it already and put in the garden, but I'm gonna let that mulch some more. It's kind of like a raised hugel culture, if you will. But uh, I'm gonna let it but deteriorate a little bit more and let the natural process take effect. And I'm gonna scoop it up and take it over to the gardens. I wanted to show you guys this. You know, we're in that drought, but this is a little spring fed little stream that comes down from up on the mountain up there and it comes down comes down through here but even during the drought as you can see it's still it's still running and this is a cool little spot where I wash off a lot of times is I call it the pool of Bethesda <laughs> no my there's actually a little fish down in there a little brim or some kind of something but hopefully no no shoulders but it's pretty deep there and it just kind of builds up there and I've talked about damming it up back down here and using this water for the gardens but hadn't done it yet but champ sure does love to get in there and cool off but I'm going to walk around and show you kind of what it looks like just have to always look at the wild ferns I got to look out for snakes because I would think there'd be a snake like there went a frog I don't know if y'all seen that I always think there's gonna be a snake sitting under there, but uh, no, not today. But there's the water. You can see back little slimy stuff that purifies the water, but you can see that's pretty cool. When it rains, it's really cool. But anyway, there's the little bee yard. But I'm going to build a bee house right there underneath those trees on the other side so that we're not having to walk all the way over to my barn over there to get our frames and stuff so it's gonna be a lot nicer when we get it done but it's August and it's hot and you see there's a lot of stuff to do <laughs> so I'm I'm trying to get some stuff done today My friend she always comes up to me Wants to know what's going on. She told me I was good looking. Don't tell Tracy. Don't tell Tracy. She's sitting down taking a break. Right now, I gotta turn my, I forgot I gotta turn my, the water on on the orchard because it's so dry. The orchard is really uh, needing water. So I'm gonna, I turned it on last night and let it get all soaked up and it loved it, so it's still needing more. So until we get water, other water source to the orchard, we're having to use our county water on the grid, which really I do not like. But right now, that's gonna be our backup plan. Right now it's our primary plan, but that's gonna be our backup until I get uh, the other source completed. But anyway, I'm about to turn on my water here. Here's my little valve where I turn on my water and I have a backflow on it too on down the line so it doesn't come back in but I ran that water line all the way to the orchard over there you can see and it's water in it now I've got soakers and drips drip lines but um, yeah that's uh that's how we do this here I'll just Sitting here taking a break. You can tell I'm out of breath. It's so freaking hot. But you know, I just sitting here taking a knee, taking a break. And uh, I'm about, I don't know, a third of the way done. And uh, <clears throat> I was just thinking the way these limbs are and they get 
they get all stubby and growth and all the growth goes in the wrong areas and just start getting real frumpy looking you know with stuff all down at the bottom and all out just weird but I thank God that he shapes our lives and he prunes us he cuts on us he shapes and molds us in what he wants us to become if we let him I was just thinking you know that there's things in our lives in my life that if, if I just let it go and don't tend to things and let God have his way man where would I be I would not be here I guarantee you but I thank God that that um, he, he cuts on me and you know I'm stubborn and I don't listen all the time but I thank God that that uh, he's given me ears to hear and I try to be the best as I can and I just thank God for this farm and being able to opportunity to be a good steward of it and I hope and pray that Tracy and I are doing the best we can and we just thank him and praise him every day for the opportunity to be blessed by this so that's just a little tidbit I wanted to share with you this morning Heck, it's almost noon. It's about time for a sandwich. So I may be heading over to get me some vittles in my stomach. I finally completed the job. Pretty happy. I am tired, but I'm pretty happy. As you can see, it's starting to rain, and I didn't even have to do a rain dance. Woohoo! So I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited. The old John Deere, the old John Deere came through for me. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for taking the journey with me today have a good one god bless you and just dig it